Genealogies of Religion by Talal Asad, a collection of eight essays published in 1993, explores the intersection of Christian and post-Christian history and its implications for non-Western traditions. Talal Asad, the author, emphasizes the profound impact that the conceptual framework of Christianity has on the growth and evolution of other religious traditions. The essays are organized into four sections, genealogies, archaisms, translations, and polemics, each representing a different stage in Asad's investigation. In the first section, Assad critiques the conventional anthropological approach that treats religion and ritual as purely symbolic activities, disconnected from the practical aspects of daily life. He argues that anthropologists often interpret cultural phenomena like texts, overlooking the non-religious practices and discourses that inform religious discourse. Assad asserts that religious concepts are not easily captured by textualized concepts alone. The second section delves into medieval practices of penance and judicial inquiry to challenge the assumption that pain and discipline are primarily religious concepts that diminish in significance with the advent of modernity. Assad engages with the works of John Cashin and Bernard of Clairvaux, reevaluating their ideas to reveal the constructive role of practices such as penance and obedience in shaping oneself. This section also showcases Assad's simultaneous admiration for and divergence from Michel Foucault's perspectives. The third section of the book commences with an essay that scrutinizes the notion of cultural translation as yet another example of reducing cultures to texts, which Talal Assad refers to as the semantic principle prevalent in anthropological studies. This principle obscures the interconnectedness between different disciplinary practices, of which reading is merely one aspect, thereby limiting our understanding. This critical assessment sets the stage for a captivating essay on Islamic public discourse in Saudi Arabia. The final section of the book shifts the focus to England and presents a comprehensive critique of the diverse responses to the Rushdie affair, all of which fell under the umbrella of multiculturalism. Assad highlights that government officials and liberal critics Accustomed to tolerating Muslim practices solely within Middle Eastern contexts, failed to address a fundamental question. What does it truly mean for Muslims to live in Europe while embracing their religious identity?